the senior living facility you've seen go up on Brooklyn Boulevard is about to open its doors to the public. Reporter Shannon Slatton explains why the sanctuary offers something new to the community. This is a wonderful success. A new senior living facility off Brooklyn Boulevard sits where a car lot used to be. City leaders have long talked about this building enhancing Brooklyn Center in more ways than one. It's part of the uh, recreation of my hometown, Brooklyn Center, and I'm so proud. I'm so proud to see this facility and the wonderful work that's been done here. Council member Dan Ryan was one of several community members at a VIP event to celebrate the opening of the sanctuary, an assisted living facility that will allow more of Brooklyn Center's aging population to stay in their community. No reason why, even though you are on a lower limited income, you should not have choices and options. And the sanctuary was built with that in mind. This is a tax credit building, which means private investors who take advantage of tax breaks help keep costs low. The sanctuary is for seniors with Medicaid or low income, but it feels like any upscale senior high rise. Our dining experience here is about a four star restaurant where we, we country club type of theme. We put on a really good show and we set the bar very high in what we do here. With high quality food you can order off of a menu, plus amenities like gaming rooms and a big plus private rooms. If a person is on Medicaid, which for us would be elderly waiver, they choose their apartment, either a studio or a one bedroom. We don't tell them which one they get to have. And we don't have anyone forced to have a roommate, which is the norm in Minnesota. Administrators say this facility is about giving dignity and respect to the elderly, regardless of income. In Brooklyn Center, Shannon Slatton, CCX News. And residents are expected to start moving in sometime in April.